Hi, I'm Christine Swanson and I'm going to show you my first aid kit. I have, um, this is my kit. Inside, um, I have the hard cases for my supplies. Um, I have a flashlight to locate victims. In my first case, I have waterproof tape for securing dressings. I have large band-aids for um, larger cuts. I have several small band-aids for the smaller cuts, um, some aspirin for pain, and if someone's um, having a chest pains, maybe for a heart attack, it'd be good um, to start them on some aspirin. Um, triple antibiotic, this is to put on um, cuts and scrapes that you may have. Um, you'd put them on a Q-tip first and then apply that. Um, here's my um, two by two gauze pads. This is to control bleeding. Use this as a dressing. Um, for smaller cuts. Alcohol swabs. Uh, you can use these to uh, sterilize your tweezers or your scissors um, or to clean out, a, clean out a cut too. Some more tape for your dressings. Cortisone 10 I have for um, any itchiness of the skin, bug bites. Um, my other one out. My second case, my hard plastic case. Um, tape for larger um, dressings and bandages, just secure those. Um, roll aids for any heartburn. Um, we have uh, tongue depressors to stabilize um, any broken fingers or maybe a wrist. So there's several of those in here. Um, smaller scissors for um, tighter areas if you have to cut something, bandages. Tweezers to um, cut maybe barbs on a fishing hook or anything that you might need to cut stuff with. Um, I have tweezers to get out debris from cuts or abrasions and also for splinters or uh, stingers from bees. A needle to help you with the, um, the splinters that you might can get out with that. I'm going to have glucose tablets. Uh, you would Give someone this if they were going into diabetic shock. Uh, it brings up their uh, sugar levels. Um, I also have a pen light. You can check um, pupils or you can check in someone's mouth or a wound, however you might need that. Um, here's a uh, bandage that you secure your dressings with. This is for smaller limbs or any small areas that you need to stabilize. I have Kleenex for someone that's crying or soak up any liquids. Um, on the side I have trash bags. You can put all your stuff, uh, debris, anything that you're not using in the bags to clean up your area. Um, I have a compass. If you have um, a car crash and you're on the side of the road, you're not sure where you're at, you can tell someone your location. It might come in handy. Um, scissors to cut any dressings or bandages. Um, maybe seat belts for a car crash. I have a gauze bandage roll. You can use this to secure um, penetrating uh, objects, or you can use it because it's sterile right now for um, addressing anything. You need direct pressure to stop bleeding. Also, here are the nonstick uh, gauze pads. Use this to control bleeding. You can use direct pressure. And larger band aids for your larger cuts. Um, I also have. Um, it's like Purell instant sanitizer, alcohol in it. If you get any blood on your hands that you might need to clean, um, use that. And then I have a CPR mask. Uh, it's a shield and you put this over the victim's mouth. If you need to do CPR and the shield keeps any uh, spit up or anything that comes from the victim from getting in your mouth. And that's And of course, I have gloves that you'd use first to keep yourself safe um, from any blood or anything that um, you might get into your own hands. And let's see here. Here's a bigger 4x4 gauze uh, pads for controlling pressure. And uh, for someone that's bleeding heavily, you use these large pads to stop the bleeding. You can also secure those with your tape for a dressing. And I have a larger bandage that you can use this to stabilize any limbs and uh, 
like put two legs together, stabilize a fracture or break, and to keep your dressings on. And those are my supplies. Thank you.